My name is Corinne. I have three dogs, a cat, an axolotl, and I rescue birds. I think animals provide the unconditional love that people just can't. People benefit a lot from that, just in their overall self-esteem, their health. That's a big part of why I do this. I started my company 10 years ago. I had never been so excited to start anything in my life. Being solely responsible for my own success, also helping people and animals, I was just beside myself excited. After we reached a certain size, the business was no longer the thing that I loved when I started. It was really just putting out fires. It was just overwhelmingly difficult sometimes to manage the weight of this business that had become enormous. Managing staff members and their crises, working every day of the week, six o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, barely sleeping, barely eating. I had basically lost all of my friends because every time I'd made plans with them, I'd have to cancel because something would come up. Then my heart girl was diagnosed with cancer. And it was terminal. And at that point, I basically, I put the entire business in the hands of one of the managers that we had. And I spent the last six months of her life being there for her. And I just, I have so much regret that I missed all of those years. I'm Sean Frick, I'm the owner of Prairie Path Pet Care. A couple of things inspired me to start the company. One was, hey, if I had a company, I could probably make it work to have a dog. I was a pretty busy person working a lot inside of an office. I had some desires to do my own business, but I always lacked the connection of finding something I felt passionate about. I had a great mentor. And after spending a certain amount of time with them, I, I just felt very confident about getting into this business and just ran with it. Uh, we started off picking up slow, we'll walk here, we'll walk there, and it has blossomed into something. It was a pretty big success story from the beginning in Wheaton. Incredibly proud of it. It's hard to remember exactly how the clients picked up after them, but it was very fast. And it was obvious that this was gonna be a very viable business. Quickly, we became three locations, and that's when we started to really develop having a centralized uh, support system, really, you know, supporting the managers. So along the way, we've, we've grown. Other companies have bought into the model that we have as well, um, you know, by, by becoming a part of our family, really. Prairie Path had actually reached out to me probably about a year into COVID. And they were just checking in, trying to see how we were doing. During the pandemic, the managers in each location were reaching out and staying in touch with other companies that were out there, just kind of seeing how are you getting through this. I had heard about them long before they reached out to me the first time. They had a really great reputation in one of the areas that we had expanded to. Corinne um, was uh, at a point in her life where she said that she was considering selling her business. I understood that that was a big decision and it wasn't something that um, um, I wanted to, her to rush into. I was not at that point yet. We'd weathered the storm probably better than most businesses in the area. And you know, they were very sweet about it. They said, oh, you know, it's really great that you're doing well. Um, if anything changes, we're here. So about six months later, when things started going back and I was reevaluating what I wanted my life to look like and decided that actually I did want to sell my business, I reached back out to them. She mentioned that her number one priority was that her clients and that her walkers were gonna be well taken care of. And I think after getting to know us, she realized that that was a huge priority to us. Not just that we were offering a great service to clients, but that we highly valued the people who worked for us. And that really resonated with me um, because I could tell that it wasn't just about some guy trying to make money the easiest way possible. It was somebody recognizing that this job has become exponentially more challenging 
and they actually have the support system to manage that effectively. The way that I look at it is as I talk with um, other business owners is just understanding where they are. If there's something that we can do together that can help each other out, it doesn't have to be uh, you know, I need to sell my business. We had enough of these conversations without them it being a proactive that we decided, hey, let's be proactive. Maybe there's other people out there find ways to just, you know, help people enjoy being in this industry. These days, it's just, it's been incredible to wake up every morning looking forward to the day as opposed to feeling sick to my stomach about what was going to come. I adopted three new dogs that I spend every waking moment with, basically. It makes me so happy that I get to be part of their lives. I have the time in the day to work out. I have the time in the day to make healthy meals. I'm reconnecting with old friends, spending a lot of time with family. It's not even a light at the end of the tunnel. I've reached the end of the tunnel. Sean just, I guess he saw the potential of making the entire business better and really having somebody dedicated to doing that. So that's, that's my role now. It's been life-changing.